scared. Yeah. Action. All right. What's up, everybody? It's Mac, and it's Fish Scale Fridays. We got my man George from Acubus right over here. Um, so just getting right into it, why don't you just tell the people a little bit about yourself, where you're from, all that type of stuff. Sure. Uh, I'm an artist from Pennsylvania originally. Moved out here five years ago to the Thornton Westminster area and then moved to Denver to be a graffiti artist and work more on the arts there. And obviously I do clothing here at Factory. I'm a graphic designer as well. Um, anything art, you name it, like I've done it before, wire wrapping, like the weirdest stuff for sure. But okay. I'm here representing for the people who want to be creative and trying to link them to creating a culture with Factory and Favor. Nice, nice, super dope. Uh, so what was the first like medium of art that you really got into? Um, honestly, the first medium I've ever done is just straight up spray painting with like cars. So I've done like vinyl wrap, and um, I always used to like, just draw inside of my personal car because it was the only thing I really ever owned. And then it just evolved from that to um, car sketches with graphic design. And I used to do that on my phone. Um, I worked at Mike Shaw Subaru here. So I had a lot of downtime to um, get into like um, going through the cars and like figuring out like what body panels look like, test driving all of them, all the used cars. So I'd like sketch all day there when I wasn't selling cars. Um, and I think graphic design was always something that I was interested in, but never had the access to, because I was less fortunate as far as like getting an Apple product or something like that. Right. So I always had like Google phones and like I would sketch on those. So I worked my way up into an iPad right now. So now we're we're doing great. Okay, nice, nice. That's definitely something something different. I've never really like heard of like car art or anything like that mm -hmm. so that's definitely something different to, to start out in yeah um so, so what made you get into like the, the graffiti type of thing um i think that was more of just the people i had around me um i got into this like mural bar as far as just hanging out there and doing art with some of my friends and then um the owner there is chelsea Lewinsky, and she's a really good muralist here she's been doing it for about like three years i've been doing it for a year and a half so um it was it was nice to have people like her to have like under under their wing and like actually go somewhere with it um it's a huge cultural thing it, it goes from like it stems from like gang related stuff to just like wanting to put art up and like meeting in between is like graffiti honestly because like you can always put art up anywhere like mural um canvas and if you want to wheat paste it then it's graffiti because it's unsolicited and like you actually get to have a your own flavor on the block. You know I mean? Nice. So nice for sure. How do you so like how do you go about like choosing a spot like that you want to like really <clears throat> normally paint a mural onto? It's it's based upon um, murals are are just like asking a a business that might have a blank wall or like a beat up wall or just like I might be interested in the business personally and I want to help them increase foot traffic so I'll just offer my services to them um, as far as like just graffiti it, it's normally just picking a spot that everyone can see and like going for it whether that's like somewhere around art already or like a marker anything like anything counts okay nice nice because like you said like it can range from like 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 mirror art like you said and then like gang type of stuff and then yeah. I don't know I just always wonder like like what like kind of line where like obviously like some of them are like mm -hmm. like you got people to do it and then yeah. obviously some of them are like just street art and things like that so right. i always wonder like kind of what the difference is if there's really the, the only line that's drawn is um if you have permission to do it or not okay. and like if you're doing it illegally there's always repercussions to it right. like you could go to jail for it but it's, it's part of the game honestly like right. it's a it, life's just a game itself and it's just like one little niche of it that you can really rock, rock with <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah um so like kind of at what point did you realize like like when you're doing like all these different like types of arts and things like that did you realize like okay like I'm kind of dope like I really want to like share my art with everybody and like the masses and things like that um I still question that to this day cause like we all just recycle what we see and make it our own so like it's it's more just about um being your truest self 
and like I don't I don't really get to listen to people that much like I think that dopest part about me is that like I could not care about what people think and like still do me and people still like me like I, in, in itself I think that's like awesome like I don't have to listen really listen to anyone and like I get to do my thing and like invite other people to do their thing and like no one has a problem with it nice. so I think that's the dopest part like for sure I think I've done that like my whole life my mom is like that too she's from Brazil so it's all like a oneness and like centering energy nice nice yeah. that's super dope especially creatively because you can kind of be free to kind of just make whatever you want without any like outside exactly. outside opinions or whatever you can like, just... I'm not really a commission artist because I don't like being told what to do <clears throat> and I'll do it obviously like it's and it's challenging in its own ways but I like when people like my own art without giving their two cents about it while I'm making it like sure. they can they can do anything they want afterwards because I already did it and they could cover it up or it might be there one day and gone the next but that's what my art is so so, uh, so what would you say your your like favorite piece that you've done so far is um honestly the f- my favorite pieces are my graphic pieces that people don't really get to see and like that's just like a work in progress for me because I'm, I'm getting into animation so like nice. there's going to be a whole other um section of art that I'm like diving into right now that I'm just like learning and perpetually like getting into every day um my favorite physical piece was the piece I did when I went back home this summer where um I just drew like a 1950s picture on a building did like fake doors fake curtains and made it look like a saloon like style uh, bar brewery is dope Super dope. Yeah, I think I think I saw that. Mm-hmm. Are, we, are you from? You don't. You're not from Scranton specifically, are you? I am. Yeah. I'm. Okay. I'm from Dunmore, which is right next to Scranton. So the office is like my territory. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I always think of. Like right when I saw saw the picture and it says Scranton, that like the theme song started playing in my yep. head. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it's Super dope. <laughs> Uh, so that's that's about all the questions I got. Is there anything else you want to specifically get into or speak on? No, I just want to thank you for your time and uh, doing this for other people too and the artists here in Denver. Yeah, really appreciate definitely. it. Yeah, most definitely. I appreciate your time and you coming on in front of these lights. Thank you. Hell thank yeah. you, everyone, too. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Dope. Biscay! 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 Yeah!